Tres leches. Oftentimes, it's overly sweet, overwhelms your palate, and can be one flat note. Today, I'm sharing my cornbread tres leches. It has all the deliciousness of the three milks, but the cornmeal takes it to the next level, creating what I think is the perfect balance of sweet and savory. Don't we all deserve a little balance in our lives? When you make tres leches, you can get this feeling that we in Spanish-speaking countries called empalagar. To empalagar, it means to overwhelm your palate with sweetness. I don't know why we don't have a word like this in English, but in Spanish it makes perfect sense. So today we're gonna take some lebna, we're gonna take a few acidic notes, and we're gonna make sure that this cornbread tres leches no no empalaga. First, we're gonna do our cornmeal, our all-purpose flour, our sugar, our leavening, our warm spices, and our salt. We're gonna give this a stir to make sure that everything gets incorporated together. And I'm gonna make a little well for our wet ingredients. We're gonna make our wet mix. You're gonna take your lebna. Lebna is similar to Greek yogurt, but it has a lot of that moisture taken out. So while you want to have a fluffy cake, with this cornbread, I want it to have more dense and compact crumb structure. So we're going to get our eggs. We're gonna give this a whisk. So we're gonna keep whisking until it all incorporates, until it's nice and smooth. We're gonna add your milk, your olive oil, and then we'll come back for the lemon. Just give it a nice whisk until it all comes together. Now we're gonna take our lemon and just squeeze it right in. We're gonna whisk. And remember earlier when I talked about empalagar, adding this lebna and lemon juice will really brighten up your cornbread vase, which then we're going to be able to soak and layer more flavors and just deliciousness once we soak it. So now that I've made my wet mix, I'm gonna incorporate it to my dry mix. And now we're gonna pour it in. And remember, don't waste any of this. This is so important. This is how some recipes go wrong, is because if you don't scrape it, then it's not the accurate measurement. So we gotta get every last drop. So now we're gonna take our spatula and we're just gonna fold it in. I like to go in and fold it just to make sure that there aren't any dry pockets because to err is human. Now we have our cornbread mix. I'm gonna spray my pan, put it in the oven, then we're gonna get to the good part. So I'm gonna go in. This thing's heavy. Scrape every last drop and pour it in your pan. Using your spatula, spread it to the side of your nine by 13 pan. You can use whatever pan you'd like but I prefer to use this shape because it gives you the iconic tres leches slice. Now it's ready to go in the oven. And while this bakes, we're gonna make our tres leches soak. I have this ginormous measuring cup because I think that you should use something with a handle and a spout to pour over your tres leches. It makes life so much easier. We're going to start with our milk, our cream, and our half and half. Traditionally, you don't put any of these things except for the milk in a tres leches soak, but while we're building on this tangy and sweet combination, I figured let's really go for it and try three different milks that we've never put in tres leches before. It's gonna be awesome. Now we have our sugar and our salt. We're gonna give this a stir. Miso's gonna help me stir this. So now we have our cornbread. It's so soft. I just, I, I know that you guys at home are gonna love this dish. So now we're gonna poke holes into it. You could use a fork, you can use a skewer, but I like to use these rainbow tongs. So here we go. 
And you don't want to poke too many holes because then your cake will break apart. Now we have our perfectly poked cornbread. So now we're going to take our soak and we're going to pour it on top of our cornbread. It's going to seem like there's a lot of liquid on top, but trust me, once it sits overnight, it's going to absorb all of that delicious moisture. So now we're going to cover this bad boy. We're going to refrigerate it overnight. And then once it's ready to come out, we're going to make our whipped cream. Now that our tres leches has been soaking overnight, it's time to make the topping, the iconic whipped cream. And we're gonna make it with my favorite technique, the immersion blender. We're gonna take our cream, our sugar, and now some vanilla in your immersion blender. The unveiling of the cornbread tres leches. It's so delicious. Oh, it's just thick. She looked thick. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. You said you want one too. Gosh, Misu wants one too. So we're gonna have to plate one up. So needy. So now we're gonna grab our delicious whipped cream, we're gonna place it on top, and then we're gonna give it a nice little design, and we're gonna sprinkle some blueberries right on top. Misu, here's your piece, enjoy. And now, it's time for me to enjoy. This tastes spectacular. It is light and tangy, and then you have some crunch from the cornmeal, Oh, the whipped cream is just perfectly sweet on top. And I hope you make this at home too. But hey, Misu, say bye. Stop eating. Bye.